today, uh, here in Mexico City, we've just had a Helbling day to talk about uh, this six-level course jet stream. So I was able to offer uh, a talks about principles of teaching and to show the book as well. And Kern obviously was talking also about Helbling and what Helbling is and some of the elements that make it so special. In the case of the book, what I drew uh, people's attention to were, were four main strands. One strand is that in our book, it's all about the students. And what I was showing is how by making sure that most lessons start with us saying you first, getting students to talk about what they think and how they feel, bringing themselves into the classroom, that's the starting point for any successful lesson. Uh, the second strand that I wanted to show people was, uh, I called it brains, uh, because a major pillar of our course Jetstream is to get students to think, predicting things, guessing things, thinking critically about various different issues, um, uh, and crucially, working on memory, getting students to train their memories, because good language learners are good at memorizing and remembering things. So we spend a lot of time getting students to remember and think about things. Uh, the third element uh, we talked about was uh, the whole issue of the digital world. Encouraging students to interact with the digital world as we do and they do in real life and making that part of our own course. There's also a little element which we call takeaway language, suitcase language, whatever you want to call it trying to train students to, when they see some interesting language, which is maybe not part of a syllabus or anything like that, they actually grab it, put it in their suitcase and take it away with them. Interesting English phrases, that kind of thing. And finally, uh, in these elements, uh, is the whole issue of, of getting students to produce language through a series of techniques such as, such as role play, such as getting students to tell their own stories, such as, and this is critical, getting students to present information and talks to the rest of the class or maybe posting them online. Now all of those elements are, are kind of key elements of, of our course which teaches grammar and vocabulary and teaches reading and listening and all of those things but underpinned by those four elements and then you need to mix in with that the, the, the final big issue for me which is the content, the topics, the kind of things you ask students to engage with. Now if we've got that right then we've got everything right because the whole point of language teaching is to give students interesting things to use language about. And, and we, we have spent a significant amount of our time doing that.